I see you. You concentrate. Concentrate real hard. Be a 12 year old. Pie fight. Ugh. It's not a pie fight. Honey Boy is a film written by Shia LaBeouf about his experience as a child actor and his relationship with his father, who was his chaperone. They shared together a room in a motel, and his father was a rodeo clown and a felon and took care of him in those years. In terms of putting a film like this together, there are things that I'm as a director, I'm, I was very ambitious, I think, to make sure that we get all of the best acting we can get and find time to have the heart of the film, which is really the dynamic and the relationships and the moments with the characters. She's filling your head full of fear. I don't ever do that. I pump you full of strength. Because we're on a team and I know you got what it takes. You're a fucking star and I know it. That's why I'm here. I'm your cheerleader, honey boy. It was really important for me to capture actually the cinematic world that Otis grew up in, how these stages and these sets have become really the playground for his psyche. No, 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 no! And cut! Bell mark! Bell marker! Positioning Otis in a shot and opening it with a shot that had these effects and had these explosions seemed thematically like the best way to introduce him. I felt that he's part of a much bigger machine that treats him just like a puppet and can blow him up and then walk him back to do it again. You can really show how helpless he is. So I really wanted to capture that with that shot. It's more than good. The montage that opens the film, for instance, it really sets up the character in a few minutes, so you don't need to have a lot of exposition, all writing, and a lot of stories about him being an actor and what happened to him. It was a very visual sequence that we had to achieve on a very low budget. What am I being arrested for? What am I being arrested for, huh? There is something about Shia's story that reminds me of Pinocchio and somebody that was on a marionette for a long, long time. In a way, the motel itself was another set, but had the subconscious of his father all over it, you know? I wanted it to, to be a little circusy and to have those colors of these old circus posters, and it's, it's the set his father never had. Yeah, yeah. We had to build a different kind of language for each one of those parts of the film. So the whole part with older Otis, which was a lot more reflective on what happened. I wanted it to feel a little calmer, a little more cinematic, um, but also a bit more contained in terms of how the camera moved. And then at the hotel, I very much wanted it to feel like in the moment and very much with the actors and constantly handheld and, and, and improvisational and film it just like I filmed one of my documentaries. Do you know I'm doing you a favor? You're doing me a favor? I'm paying you to be my chaperone. Wow. Who else is going to give a You're felon a, a favor. job? I'm not stupid. At its core, it's really a film about a father and a son. It's a father and son story, and the way in which we have to forgive somebody in order to keep generational pain from being passed along again and again from father to son, from father to son. Hey, Lisa, here with a bonus behind the scenes movie fact. Did you know that there's a Starbucks cup in every Fight Club scene? Director David Fincher thought the Starbucks shops popping up on every block of LA in the late 90s was too much of a good thing. So he poked fun of the coffee chain in Fight Club. He's claimed to have sneaked a Starbucks cup into every shot, with permission of the chain, of course. With one exception, Starbucks didn't want its shop destroyed on the film. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.